Okay, there are two unique exercises to try and assist with improving shoulder internal rotation. If you can't yet achieve the behind the back position, then this would be two exercises that could otherwise help you to get you there. So exercise numero one. So in a previous video I've shown how to do this. Stretch the internal rotation through crossing my arms. Once crossing my arms is fine, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna induce a, a further internal rotation by having the band pull me posterior. So if I was turning to turn to the side, it would look like that. So I set myself up in this position. And then in the last video, I described how if I was transparent, the forearm would fall, would go through my torso and come out my back. So I'm gonna be just like this. I'm gonna start off with a, a decent amount of stretch where I feel it on the outside. If I need to back that off because it's painful, I can simply take a step back. I'm then gonna walk myself forward. That's a decent amount of tension. Hang out for one minute. And then I'm gonna go into an isometric contraction where I'm gonna actually bring my thumb out away from the band or towards the camera in this instance. And I'm gonna hold that for 30 seconds, gradually ramping that up. The intentional contraction is, the, is in the back side of the shoulder. I'm gonna push, 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 30 seconds. And then after the 30 seconds is done, 30 seconds in. So I'm actually gonna lock myself in so my elbow doesn't pop out and I'm gonna push into my torso as hard as I can. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, and so on for your 30 seconds. I then have the option to hang out for another 30 seconds and just build my tissue tolerance to that position. Or I can simply take a step back, take the tension off, shake it out, and repeat.